Okay, so most of you know I have that meat allergy now. So tonight I'm going to make some uh, turkey burgers, some sautéed onions. I'm going to put a little stuff to take the turkey burgers. But I've been ordered another one of these Mingo from Botkin Bows, 35 pounds. It's so light, so little, I just love this thing. So I have a little bit of a tear in my rotator cuff. I got a shot in the arm, you know, shot in the shoulder. And uh, he said baby it a little, so I'm going to be shooting this. And then uh, I'm going to try and get a turkey with the 45 pound one, which is actually 40 pounds at my draw length. This 35 pound bow will probably be four pounds less, maybe, maybe 31, 32 pounds, you know, at my draw length. Probably 30 pounds up my draw length, the way that feels. But I went outside with some 600 spine arrows with 125 grain tip, and the shaft seemed to fly straight. So uh, I'm going to do a little more tuning on this when I get a chance. And uh, I got my marks out to 25 already. I'm hitting out to 25 just within 10 minutes of the UPS man dropping it off. So I love this thing. Okay, so back to the turkey burgers. I'm going to saute some onions. Got a couple of onions here. You can get a nice sizzle going on there. Get that nice sizzle. I'm going to keep them moving. I'm going to saute them until they get translucent. I'm going to crush four cloves of garlic when this is just about done and add it. These turkey burgers are pre-made, okay? They're pre-made. I'm gonna mix them up with a little bit of, just a drop of olive oil in them. I'm gonna put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in there. And then I have this Grill Mate Chipotle and roasted garlic, okay? Give it a little kick, a little flavor. I'm going to put a little of that in there, and then we're going to cook them on the grill, okay? It's going to rain later, so I'm going to cook them, not on the grill, we're going to cook them in the pan, okay? Looks like it's going to rain any minute outside. All right, so I'm going to stop it here, and I'll show you a little bit of an update. Okay, this turkey burger, or I should say turkey paste, it looks like. God, Turkey paste, man. It just don't look it's too appetizing. So what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle a little of this chipotle. Oh, take off the uh, cover. Just a little bit to give it a little flavor and a little kick. Okay. Not my favorite Worcestershire sauce, but we're going to put a little bit. Sometimes I put it on the... Uh, Venison burgers, which I can't eat no more. Okay. A tiny little drop of olive oil. Okay. We mix it up, the hands are washed, and mix it up nice. Well, I hope it gives it some kind of flavor because it, to me, I don't know, this just don't look too appetizing. Really, it's like a turkey paste. Okay? Boy, the things we have to do. We do whatever we got to do in life. Okay. Little turkey patty burgers here, these turkey paste burgers. Okay, a little chipotle smell layer with a smell layer. Let me wash my hands. I'm gonna maybe put a little more seasoning on. 
and then they're going to go in the fridge for a little bit while I'm sauteing the um, onions. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put these in the fridge and continue sauteing this. I'm going to add the four cloves of garlic and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I crushed four cloves of garlic, small ones, not big, and uh, sauteed them with the onions. The onions is done. The onions are done. Take a look. Okay. Okay, I got a little, just a drop of olive oil. I'm using the same pan that I sauteed the onions in. Once it gets a little hot, I'm going to throw these patty turkey burgers with some seasoning in. And then I'm going to check the temperature. It's got to be 165. Okay. We're going to put a little tomato and lettuce on them. And we're going to serve them on English muffins. So... Let's see. Okay, they say they puff up, and they say if you push them down a little in the middle, that'll solve that problem. I'm going to put them on, clean up, and then we'll see what they look like when I'm about to flip them. Okay, while the burgers are still cooking, not ready to flip yet, I uh, put in some Nathan's fries, fries, like a half a bag of Nathan's fries. So there we go. i have a few fries with it. Okay, I'm going to make some room. Okay, these have been cooking for a while. I'm going to flip them over. Okay, we're going to let them go a little more. Yeah, once they're brown and you turn them over, and it's just a waiting game to check the temperature to make sure it gets up to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So we got a little longer to go. It's like in a 150 range now. Okay, let's check the temperature. Okay, they're all good. They're all good. Let's shut it off. Okay. Take more the grill. Put one on each one here. Okay. Let's see the extra on the plate. Let me just take this off the stove and then I'll get back to you. Okay, here we go. Turkey burger. Sauteed onions and garlic. Alright, couldn't go wrong with that. Okay, we're gonna put a little tomato on it. A little lettuce. It's a burger. I can't help but put ketchup on a burger. Let's see. Let's give it the old taste test. Okay, with all the added seasonings, it's not bad. So give it a try. Okay, I was gonna start sauteing the onions when a UPS man came. 
So what's more important, dinner or the bow? So I stopped and I came out and I took a couple of shots. These 600 spline arrows seem to fly okay. So we're gonna take a couple more shots now after dinner then arrows aren't totally tuned. But the weird thing is, you know, you have a 600 spine arrow, 35 pound bow, 125 grain tip. You kind of know from one bow to the other, they're pretty similar. So let's take, I'm gonna take a couple of shots. 25 should be point on. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna move down to 20. Okay, we're gonna try 20. 20 is gonna be a we're gonna actually string walk, even with this little buff. Half inch down. Okay. We're gonna go down to 15. I don't even know where that hit. I have my glasses, I shoot really good with the glasses, and I left them inside, but it's getting dark. I was busy making dinner. Okay. We're at 15, I'm gonna try one inch. Okay, let's go down to 10 yards. <laughs> 10 yards should be an inch and a quarter. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's go take a look. Okay, I have to, I got this bow. Well, I started making dinner. I stopped. I came out. Not even five minutes. I just took a couple of shots at different ranges, tried to figure out where to hit. Okay, these arrows seem to work pretty good, but as you can tell, they may need to be tuned just a little bit more. Okay, then I stopped, went in, cooked dinner, made my turkey burger. Let me tell you, there's no substitute for a real burger. But if you're gonna eat anything turkey and all, I'll tell you what, sauteing the onions and the garlic and putting that on there, and a little of that chipotle seasoning inside, you know, maybe a little Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how much that helped, but it wasn't bad. It was edible. It was, you know, it wasn't a burger. A burger, you eat a burger without nothing on it. It's delicious burger. But you, you don't want to eat a turkey burger, turkey burger plain. So adding that stuff on made it really palatable. So it was good. All right. So burgers and bow day. Okay. So anyway, I love this little thing and I love the 45 pound. That I have too. The reason I called them up and said, Give me another one, give me the 35 pound one, was because I have a tear in the rotator cuff. I got some shots, it seems to be okay. I'm not gonna avoid surgery. I'm shooting good with my lightweight bows at the 3D season. I can't hunt no more because I'm allergic to the meat. I have the alpha gal. I may go shoot a turkey, I don't know. I ordered some of those guillotine heads, you know. I may do a video on that. Right, shooting with the recurve with the guillotine heads. And uh, maybe I will go out and shoot a turkey. I'm just scared to death of the ticks. The ticks on Long Island are horrific. They're horrific. You don't want to get sick. I had all kinds of stuff in my life. And uh, hunting season, I had the Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and the COVID. And I really mean it. There was a couple of nights I went to bed. I was like, oh, please let me wake up in the morning. I'm telling you. 
All right, so I love this little bow. I may shoot it, uh, may even take this little bow out to the 3D course, have a little fun with it, you know? And uh, I recommend it to anybody, you know, with a short draw. Really no more than 29 inches, but I love this little thing, it's really cool. All right, watch my other videos on Bear Bow Joe. Any morning that you wake up, it's a good morning. Make the best of it, all right? Have a nice day.